Hi, and welcome back to 3 and Out with Chris Spielman. I'm Mike O'Hara, and once again, as we have been all season, brought to you by the good people of Comerica. And Chris Spielman, Week 17 of the Detroit Lions was a lot like many of the others. 23-20 loss to the Green Bay Packers at Ford Field. You know, big, raucous crowd, some for the Packers, some for the Lions. But once again, another loss. You know, you've been in, those, in this situation as a, as a player, a closeout game, and then what happens on Monday morning when the season's over. If you're a Detroit Lion, what are you, what's going through your mind right now as you break away and just take a break from the season? Uh, I think the first thing, at least I can only speak for myself, Mike. I can't speak for those other guys. For myself, if we had a year like this, the first thing that <clears throat> excuse me, went through my mind was what a wasted year. We wasted opportunities. We had so many opportunities to, to make a difference and, and make plays, and we didn't make them. And the NFL career is fleeting. So a lot of these guys feel like it's a wasted year. Now, the good news off of that is – the fact that it'll get them ready to go next year. And I, I think they don't want to have this feeling again. Nobody does. And this was a 23-20 loss on the last play of the game, a field goal, just like in that loss earlier in the season when they lost on, the, on a field goal. Is there any such thing as a good loss in the National Football League? No. It's a W's business. Everybody knows that. Ask all the coaches who got fired today. It's all about wins, you know, and, and – I think that they understand that, and the Lions are going to be have a lot of pressure. The staff and players are going to have a lot of pressure on them next year to get wins. I mean, it's a bottom line business. All right, Chris, let's go three and out. We're going to start with a good play here. And Detroit Lions take a seven nothing lead, like they've taken a lot of leads this season. Yeah. And this is a trick play. It's a pass from Danny Amendola back to the rookie quarterback David Blau. Go three and out. Break it down. Tell us what you see. Well, I like to create creativity of, of Daryl Bevel here, right? Just to run something different. And the offensive line does a great job of pass protection because this play takes such a long time to develop. In the Packers defense, you all see them chasing Amendola. They're completely confused. And it's a nice job of Blau kind of sneaking around that edge, getting out of the way. And Amendola throws a ball that's very catchable. Doesn't try to lead him or anything. Just throw it up there nice, high and soft. And David Blau did not commit the sin of looking away before he catches it, looked it into his hands, and just the patience and pass protection. The whole Packer front seven was confused, and it was a strike. And Blau throws a beautiful pass to give somebody a souvenir at the end. <laughs> well, here's the other thing, too, Chris. Danny Amendola is now 3-for-3 three three in his career with two touchdowns, so let's do that more often, okay? Good passer rating. Yes, it is. Okay, that, that made it 7 nothing, and it gets to 14 to nothing, 17-3, to three, and 20-13 to 13 in, the, in the fourth quarter. And Aaron Rodgers is not Aaron Rodgers. He's overthrowing guys all game long, but not on this one. Alan Lazard, rookie receiver, in the fourth quarter on third and 10 at the 28, the tying touchdown and the extra point that follows. Break it down. Go three and out. Tell us what you see on this. Uh, well, you got to, again, it goes back to knowing where your safety help is. Lazard's inside. Slay's lined up outside. So he has a clean release inside, untouched. Watch the safety come up to the middle of the field. He's going to come up and play a short crossing route. There's no help in the middle of the field deep. So you make him throw it to the outside, not to the inside. There's less room to throw it to the outside because you have the sideline as a helper. By that clean release inside and the height advantage that Lazard has over Slay, it's an easy throw for the Hall of Famer Aaron Rodgers. And it's a good play by them, but it's just recognition of Lazard and Aaron Rodgers seeing the safety jump up to the intermediate middle and Slay playing outside where, quite frankly, I think he should have been playing inside. Well, that makes it 20-20, to 20, and guys, there's no surprise ending here. It's 23-20 at the end on a field goal on the last play of the game. We're going to show you a couple of plays before we get to that. On the first play after that touchdown pass, Carrion Johnson runs for 20 yards, 11 carries, 53 yards. And Chris Spielman, as we watch this play, there was some talk a week ago about why Carrion Johnson would want to play, come off injured reserve, and play the last two games. What does that say to you about his willingness to play, his willingness to compete, and finish the season with his teammates? Well, he made a statement, I believe, and I'm paraphrasing that, look, I don't train all year to be sitting on IR when I can play, and there's nothing on the line, but I just think this is a glimpse of what he can be. Um, he can make people miss in the hole. He's got a good burst. He's got good hands out of the backfield, and it's a shame. It's a shame for carry on, and it's a shame for the Lions fans that we didn't get to see him play all year. That's a good block by Ragnow. Glasgow getting up to the second level. That's just a well-executed play. But for the bigger picture, 
I mean, I think Carryon Johnson's a, a really good player, Mike. I've been on this program and on broadcasts that I've done Lions games. He's a difference maker. The only thing he needs to do, and it's a little bit of luck is involved, is that he's got to stay healthy. When he's healthy, this is a different offense. Well, you look at him and Bo Scarborough, and I think they really helped that running game down the stretch. The Lions ran for 171 yards on Sunday against the Packers. Okay, we're going to go one more now. Here's a young guy, a draft pick this year, Amani Oruwarie. Thank you for helping me pronounce his name correctly. Just an interception here. This kind of this be the last play we look at. Break it down. Give us a three and out. Tell us what you see on this play, Chris. So Aaron Rodgers uh, attempted 17 passes of 20 yards or more, and Armani had a target on him. He does a good job of recovering. Look, Devonte is that Devonte Adams? I think it is. They try to do a double move. Now watch the double move. There, there's one move, then the back move back inside. What I like, the recovery speed and locating the football and good ball skills of going up and getting to the highest point. But it's just a great job of recovering. He was benefited. He, that was Kumaro, excuse me. He benefited because uh, Rodgers makes the mistake here. He's underthrowing Kumaro. If he puts that ball out in front, I don't know if he catches up. But the fact that he never quit on the play, had a good speed or center field turn down there at the bottom, uh, that was uh, an excellent play, and it's good for a rookie to get a pick. And he certainly was uh, got a lot of attention yesterday, shall we say, from Aaron Rodgers and that Packers offense. And that closes out our three and out. Now, Chris Spielman, like I said, 23-20, there's a field goal on the last play of the game, and the Packers win. They get home field advantage, a bye, and all that great stuff. Here the Detroit Lions, before we wrap it up here, what's on your mind right now on the Monday after the regular season, and what is it going forward? Well, I think the, the the good things for the players and coaches, obviously, everybody knows they got one more chance next year. And everybody knows that the playoffs are the standard. At least that's what I'm kind of insinuating, that the playoffs are the standard. And I think they're very capable, Mike. I know that I might be in a minority in, in believing that right now, but I do. But, you know, it just it's clear to say or see what health means to a football team. Everybody says what a great job the Eagles have done. They've done a great job, a great job this year. Uh, and But they didn't suffer the injury at the quarterback position. And Carson Wentz is playing as well as anybody in the league. The Lions have to stay healthy. And look, everybody knows that the defense did not live to the level that it needs to live to. That's on Coach Patricia to get fixed, and I'm sure he'll fix it, or he's going to give it a heck of a shot. But it has to get fixed because what was out on the field this year for defensively was not winning football, and you won't even sniff the playoffs if they don't get more consistent on defense. Well, Chris Spielman, we've got the draft coming up, we've got free agency coming up, and there's always change in the National Football League. But thank you for being with us this season, and that's a wrap for now. Thanks for watching 3 and Out.